Hello, and welcome to Health and Fitness Redefined. I'm your host, Anthony Amen. Join me today as we take a dive into the world of health and fitness, where we learn how to overcome adversity, to pick back versus fiction, and see health and fitness in a whole new light. Today, we have a very special guest on. His name is Clarence Booth. You may know him as Mr. St. Pete. That's right. We're going into the boxing arena, guys. So let's welcome him to the show right now. I'm super excited to learn all about his journey, his story. This guy is just a very genuine, down-to-earth person, and I believe all of you guys are going to love him, so let's get him on in here. And welcome to the show, Clarence. Hey, man. How you doing, man? I hope that was a good enough introduction for you. (laughs) Yeah, that would be good. That was on point. (laughs) So... Before we even start, I know you're you're a professional boxer, which is outstanding. I just mind blown by that. That's is probably one of the toughest sports. And unfortunately, my boxing knowledge ranges from the Rocky movies. That's about it. (laughs) I actually I actually got a little bit of a bad. That's where I came from. That's That's where you came from. I came from watching Rocky. I got uh, the Sylvester Stallone quote from Rocky actually on my wall. So I get to see it every single morning when I wake up. It's right behind me. But great movies. It's not about that, though. This is about you. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us a little bit about why you decided to go into boxing. Just what was that? Hey, this is where I need to be in my life. And that's where I'm headed. So talk to us a little bit about that. Um. I mean, actually, it's it's actually a long story, but I'm gonna try to keep it really short. Um, yes, I actually, uh, I would actually, you know, you know, I came from a, you know, I came from, a, I came from a, you know, life little struggle. I used to get in a lot of trouble when I was young, you know, back and forth, uh, jit camps and things like that. But make a long story short, I just try. I wanted to do something with my life. I just felt like, you know, I just felt like my. Um, I just felt like my presence wasn't going to be in the streets too long, so I had to figure out what the, what did I what what position that I needed to be in to, you know, you know, to motivate people and, you know what I mean, you know, be that be that that, that um how you say that motivational advocate when it comes to you know beating the odds in life, and I guess I went to I went to I went out I moved away to try to go to school, but it didn't work out like I thought it was, and I ended up running past a gym, I ended up running past a gym and just. I ended up um, going to the gym just unexpectedly, and, and, and the gym was owned by somebody I knew um, from a from a jit camp that I was in, and it just just it, it, everything was locked in from that point on. I think I moved in the gym for, at I think a month after training. I think I moved into the gym and started living in the gym for like six months. I think, um, and yeah, man. Um, like I said, I just my main motivation was just try to you know do something better with my life, and you know don't waste it, you know. That was my main goal to figure figure something out, you know. And I, like I said, I wanted to go to school, but um, you know, unfortunately, thing, the way things was happening, that just wasn't on the, you know, wasn't on the menu at the time. You know what I'm saying? And so I just went and grabbed the boxing. That's I love that. So you grew up in you kind of mentioned like a little bit of a the rougher side of town, and kind of grew up just weren't get, life wasn't handed to you basically you kind of had to work for it oh yes still working for it <laughs> still working still. for it but what was that inspiration so like i mean it, it's easy just to kind of fall into where life wants you to go where other people want to see you but what made you make that decision you know like i don't want to live like this i know i deserve better i know i can do better and I want to help all of these people and show them there's a better path. So what was that like? Oh, man. You know, it's something that was in my spirit, I think. It's something that was already kind of in my spirit. Um, you know, um, not, not toot my own horn, but, you know, I wasn't a, I wasn't no, I wasn't no peon out here. You know, I wasn't no average guy here in the streets. And I guess, you know, seeing in my power, seeing my power and my, in my, in my leveraging, in my leverage in the streets just kind of gave me a, you know, gave me a, um, a different vision, you know. What I mean, if I can, if I can be this asset here, I hit in the streets. Imagine what I can do if I went on, went on the other side and start, you know. What I mean, um, you know, doing something positive for my life, you know. Um, I think, uh, I think that was, uh, I think that was one of the main reasons why, 
you know, I'm I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. The question, the, um, the, just to be what's the name, the question all the way again, so I can make sure I answer it right all the way. <laughs> yeah, you're 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 right on track. It's just what like it's so easy to fall into life. I mean, right. that's it's so easy to cave into the environment, let's say, around right. you, than it is to push back against it and say, no, this isn't the way it's supposed to be. Right. We deserve better. Right. So what was what was that like? What was that moment like for you? Man, I'm gonna tell you something, man. It was confusing. It was confusing. I really didn't really I really didn't I knew that I knew that it was something else inside of me. Like I knew that 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 for some reason when I was, you know, when I was out in the streets doing what I was doing, you know what I mean? When I was, you know, even like I say, even though my head was pretty made, my mom my, my, my mind was pretty made up about my movement, but my, like I said, my spirit wasn't settled. My spirit was like, you know, like this this ain't where you're gonna be at, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, um need to figure out, you know what's going on, you know what I mean? So you can try to make that transition up out of these streets. And uh, um, like I said, it was, a, I had to really, I had to really break down my response. You know, I had to really break down my, my thought process, you know what I'm saying? I had to rearrange my thought process, my reactions, everything to, to be able to obtain this type of lifestyle because where I came from, it was completely different than where I'm at now. You know what I mean? So I had to really, I had, I mean, I went through a lot, man. I went through a lot to break it down, man. And, um, I went through a lot of, uh, um, you know, uh, physical stress, uh, mental stress, um, um, uh, spiritual stress, but I made it through, man. All grace, and, all, all glory to God. I, um, I, I, I'm making it through, and and, and it's, it's some good. It's been some good times and bad times in in the process, but I think overall, you know, it's been good. And in, in, in the message I've set out, you know, for the most part, I think it's been been great. Um, you know, I haven't gotten me a world title yet, but um, I, that, that's definitely. That's definitely in the makers. I'm still gonna keep grinding for that. But like I said, man, it was it was definitely um it definitely wasn't as easy as people think it was. Um, I had to really deal with a lot, and then you know I I was having kids at the same time trying to pursue a career, so it was a lot more things that was added to the situation. You know what I mean? And um, and like I said, man, it's just it was uh it was um it was a lot of ups and downs, man. You know, and um I guess I guess my just my will my will to keep going, man. And the things that, you know, God, God installed in me that just did, wouldn't let me, it wouldn't let me, uh, it wouldn't let me stop. Cause it, it, it came a couple of times where I want to turn back, you know what I mean? Because of the finances and things like that, you know what I mean? The struggle, but at the end of the day, you know, um, I had to, I had to bite down, man, and keep pushing through. Cause if I was going to be successful, then I can't let nothing in my past bring me back. You know what I mean? Cause you know, that's when you, you know, that's when you really, that's when you really get the blows out of life. You know what I mean? When God gets you through something, you go take yourself back to it. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that can be, you know, detrimental to your life and, you know, whatever you're trying to do. So like I said, man, my goal was to not let that happen. You know what I mean? And like I said, it was easier said than done. I battled with it a lot, but I came out of it strong and, um, and I'm, I've been maintaining it, man. You know, I've been maintaining it for years now, you know, and, um, and I love it, man. I love it, man. You know, I love it. That's awesome. That's a, like I said, great guy. <laughs> I think you pretty much cleared that one up right away. So I love that. Thank you so much for that. So you you said you were running past the gym over and over and over again. I, I heard that in the beginning. And then all of a sudden, you're just like, I, I got to go in. I actually, ran, I actually ran past the gym, man. You know, it was, it was man, it was wild, man. <laughs> The way I end up at this gym, man. I mean, I guess I'm. I guess I'm, what? How much time I got? I'm gonna guess I'm gonna tell you just a little small smidgen of it because it's really, it's really a, a story that's gonna really, you know, what I mean, one of the stories that's gonna really, you know, help people understand the the the, you know, severity of this thing. I guess. Um, when I was when I when I actually went over to um, boxing, you know, I was going like I said, I was going through a diff. I was going through a, a phase in my life where I really didn't know, you know, what I want to do, but I knew that I would. I didn't want to be in an environment that that you know that was just you no know, corrupt, it was no loyalty, it was no structure. You know what I mean? No honor. You know what I mean? So that situation really just kind of made me, you know, slide back. You know what I mean? Um, and um, and um, like I said, um, uh, like I said, uh, the, the um. What, what was I finna say? I'm sorry. I just I be losing my thoughts sometimes. It's okay. <laughs> what was I finna say uh, about the gym? Um, you were going through a rough time. You're running past the gym. Right. All right. And I and I, I end up not. I end up uh, 
getting ready to come back to, I was actually in Polk County and I ended up getting ready to move back to St. Petersburg, Florida. I got ready to move back and, um, and I was going through it. You know what I mean? I was young, man. I was like 18, getting ready to turn 19. And, uh, and I just wrote, I, wrote, I think I was late. I think I was, my girl was late for work one day and I was messing with the seatbelt. I run past this place all the time. I never looked over in the cut. I run past this place all the time and I never looked over one time. One, I, I got a ticket. I got a ticket to go back home um, that for that Thursday. But I actually noticed the gym that Tuesday. You know what I mean? I had a ticket already to get on the bus to go back home already paid for, already ready to go. And I rolled past the gym that day and I caught my seatbelt and my seatbelt made me made me look over, like kind of catch my seatbelt and look over. And I noticed that it was a boxing gym right around the corner from, you know, where we stayed at. So I'm like, that's a boxing gym. Like, right around the corner from my house. Like, I've been sitting up here scratching and doing my running and stuff like that. Like, I could have been hitting the bag. I could have been, you know what I mean? But make a long story short, I went there and I, I, I no, excuse me, I didn't go at first. I I, I called my girl. I mean, I, I, we went back home. My girl was in a rush. I told her, hey, stop by the gym for me and see if I can, you know, see what's going on up there and um, you know, see what I can do to get to get into the gym and whatever. What, maybe I maybe we can have this this kind type of thing for outlet for me and then you know we we you know we can work this thing out. But make a long story short, it didn't happen that way. It didn't it, it didn't it didn't happen that way. You know what I'm saying? So what I did was um. What I did was um, I didn't get I didn't get her to go past. I got to myself. I laid back on the bed that day and I told myself, I'm finna go home anyway. I'm finna leave Thursday. Why am I trying to find a gym? Like I'm finna go. You know what I mean? I'm gone already. So um and I just couldn't sleep, man. I just was sitting down trying to take a nap and I'm like, no, you gotta get up. Someone was telling me, no, you gotta get up. You gotta go try to find this place in the phone book or do something. And I tried to find it in the phone book. I couldn't find it. So I just what I did. I, I went and got my, my gym clothes on. I'm excuse me, my uh, my running clothes on and I took a run. I took a run. I ended up going to the gym. I ended up playing, and I think it looked like it was abandoned at first. You know what I'm saying? Because the mirror, you, had, you know how the mirror tent they have. Yeah. So I go to the, I go to the, I go to the house. I go to the what's the name? You can't really see inside in the daytime, but you can see inside at nighttime. So when I went to the glass and it looking looking close, I went to the glass and I and I put my head to the window, and I seen there was a a full um full furnished gym bags ring everything so i'm like this place been around the corner for me this whole time i'm like almost mad at myself like why are you in and, like you I open your eyes you know what i mean you move around long enough like you should you should have seen this place already the, there was a car behind me in a parking lot you know what i mean i really want to pay attention to it i just noticed it was there but out of nowhere i heard this voice say i heard this voice say see you i see you and i knew the voice like I, i'm like I, I know this voice i turned around and there was a assistant principal that was in my jet camp and she was actually a professional boxer she's actually a boxer and i and i knew about her she, she she tried to get me into football when i was you know when i was in this jet camp i was real good at football too i mean i just i've been an all-around athlete you know what i mean and um and uh she tried to get me into the semi-pros but that didn't that didn't go as planned but i guess i guess you know, um, like everything happened for a reason. I guess timing was just right on point and put me right in the gym, right in the front of her gym. It was closed at the time, too. She just ended up getting there early than she usually get there. You know what I mean? So, like I said, man, this is all part of God's plan, man. Because once, once I once I heard that voice, once I heard, once I looked and put my head back and turned around and seen her, that changed my life. That point, at that moment, that moment right there, I knew. I knew that something big was about to happen. I didn't really know what it was, but I knew that when I seen him, I'm like, whoa, like how did this happen? You know what I mean? The woman that was trying to get me into to football, you know what I mean? And you know, plus trust me, and it wasn't no, she was like a mom to me, you know. She was like a, you know, like a like a like you know, like a mother figure to me, you know what I mean? So she I ended up moving into the gym. I got ready to go back. I got ready to go back like a month later. I think I tooted to when she when she told me to come back in, I realized I was I, I went straight home. I took the ticket up, the bus ticket. I went and tore it up. I said, I ain't going nowhere. I'm staying right here. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going nowhere. And I'll make a long story short, man. The things just didn't work out with my girl. So I ended up later on, ended up, um, Laura Ramsey. Her name is Laura Ramsey. She ended up opening the gym to me, man, and let me live in the gym, man. And I ended up building from there, man. Building from there. So you actually me. lived in the gym? I listen, bro. I literally <laughs> slept on the gym, slept on a on a canvas, man. I used to work out on this gym, on this, on this um on this gym all day. I mean, like maybe 20 and 30 guys come through this. What's the name? I used to have to put my, my pillow down and my blanket down on this ring every night, every night 
to take a to, to go to sleep and get good sleep. Eventually, we had to make my made my room the office, but for a while, that's all I had. I had my pillow, I had my blanket, and I had the ring. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I slept that. And it that and it and it show kept me up. <laughs> it show kept me up. I think that's what pushed me harder because I could never sleep. I was in the gym all the time, even when when the lights were out in the gym. I was up three o'clock in the morning, man, working out. That's commitment beyond like yeah anything and i've ever heard you literally slept you were in the gym 20 hours because you <laughs> lived there thing is the thing is i could have went back at any time i could have went back and went back i could have went back in and and and, and 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 do what i do at any time you feel what i'm saying like it wasn't something that it wasn't like i could have i could have just said hey you know what hey i'm going tomorrow and could have been back in this thing all over again but you know eventually i end up i end up falling backwards you know what i mean you know through some things but like make a long story short that situation you know what i mean is how i end up you know really cementing and cement into boxing you know what i'm saying thanks to lady ram and you know you know um god's favor and mercy kind of you know what made us go there you know what i mean kind of connect so, us. <laughs> I think it's safe to say, Clarence, you don't believe in coincidences. No, you I just, don't. This is all God's Full plan. Like, agree. Yeah, it was, yeah, I got to give him all the glory, man. I got to give him all the glory, man. I got I got to give him all the glory because, I mean, I, 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 I mean, if it was for me, man, my flesh, my flesh would have been my flesh would have would have went back a long time ago, you know what I mean? But it was my spirit, it was my it was my my will to overcome and beat the odds and be able to say that I'm not just a talk of this thing. Like I'm a I'm an example of this thing, you know what I mean? I'm gonna beat the odds. I'm gonna show you how to beat the odds, you know what I mean? By not giving up. It might not be all pretty and all clean all the time. Sometimes you might have to just, you know, you might have to cry. Sometimes you might have to, you might you might have to, you know, you might have to um, you might have to go through some things, you know what I mean? And um. It doesn't, I think, I think, you know, sometimes the things we go through kind of, kind of broadens our reward. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the things you go through and being able to go to, to see yourself through it and, you know what I mean? And, um, to get through, I think that the, the, the victory is even more bigger in that kind of, that type of situation, you know, especially when you're positive about it, man, you know, it's hard to be positive about it, but somehow, I smile all the time. I go through what I go through, but man, I smile. I, I mean, I love life. I love my kids. You know what I mean? I, I, I love my brother. I love my family. I love my teammates. I love my, my, my trainers. You know what I'm saying? Just everything. I love my fans. You know what I mean? I just, I, I, I just love life, man. Regardless of what situation that inspired around me, I still try to keep that, you know what I'm saying? In the forefront of my mind, God is good. I, you know, it can be a whole lot worse than it is. <laughs> Your mindset is right on point, and it, it's just fascinating to me how, like, most people, if they knew they had to literally live there, they wouldn't do it. Most right. people would have just said, oh, it's a coincidence. I'll come back to it and take the easy route and kind of go. They're afraid of failure. They're afraid of trying things because they don't want to fail. But you dove headfirst into it, committed yeah. your life into it, and – Ultimately, I think it's safe to say you're succeeding in it, yeah. which yeah. is amazing. That that's itself is an amazing story that most, because most people are just afraid. Right. I've been afraid. Afraid. I mean, I understand. I, I, I've been afraid. It's been some, it's some, been some times where I was, I was scared shitless. I didn't know what to do. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? Like I said, you know, somehow, and I got to give God all the glory because I can't say it was me. You know what I mean? I can't say it was just me. You know what I mean? It was my connection, you know, and um, just, you know, it was that, it was my spirit. Just, it wouldn't let me, wouldn't let me stop. You know what I mean? So I love it. So let's, let's go in a little bit into more of the future now. So we talked about, you started working, you were in the gym six months. You yeah. get to your first fight. What was that like? Man, you made my, my first fight. First fight was wild, man. My first fight, I actually turned 19. My my um my my first fight. So I fought at 11:30. I was the last fight of the night. I fought at 11:30. I fought at 11:30, and my birthday was 30 minutes after that. So I had my I had my happy birthday, birthday man. <laughs> and, I, and I got a, a first round stoppage too, man. My first amateur fight, man. This dude I fought from Puerto Rico. He had like um. I think he had like they say he had like five, six professional um, amateur fights, and I um, 
and I got him out of there, man. First round, man. <laughs> first round. I I think I, my first fight I sparred, I, I fought in um, I fought in some Jordan, some Jordan shorts, some Reebok classics, and a regular tank top. <laughs> That's all you need, man. <laughs> That's all awesome. <laughs> Um, it was funny, man, but I got it, I got it done, man. I got it done. So you win your first fight, and I guess after that, it was for you. It was the motivation of winning. That was the drive. That was it. Like this is what I want to do. Yeah, is that right? Man. Yeah. And I look over, and I, when I when I look over, and another thing too, when I looked over, and I seen the look on my brother face. You know what I'm saying? When I seen the look on my mama face. You know what I mean? And you know some of my homeboys that was there to support me, man. When I seen the look on their face, it did something to me too. You know what I mean? Because I can tell they was like, you know, for somebody like me to, you know, to just all of a sudden you want to change my life, like from somebody like me to, to, to go and do this. You know what I mean? It's, it really set a good example for because if people who know me out here, who seen where I come from, you know what I mean? Um, you know, you know, you know, some of them like really be looking like, man, like this. I could have, I could have been, it could have been a lot different with me. You know what I mean? This, these streets could have kept me out here, man. But I, I, like I said, I didn't surround myself with it. You know what I mean? I, I, I just, I, I focused on an avenue out and, um, and I took it, man. You know, I took it, man. You know, I took it. That's why we need to get your story out more, Clarence. I think that's the biggest important thing, which I'm really happy you're doing this because people listening to this, you're going to give them hope and you're going to inspire them. And that's right. really what it shows. Like you came from nothing. And uh, like I said, a lot of people, even in like my neighborhood, it's just like they have stuff, but they still just take life so for granted and they just don't do anything about it. Like all these gifts that people are giving and they just say, no, 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 I'm afraid. And they do these miserable nine to five jobs and they come home depressed. They start picking up drinking habits or whatever it is, or they just hate life. And I see so many people that just hate life because money does not buy happiness. And I think that's the real truth of all of it. And I can tell you, you love what you do. You love what your happiness. I don't think it's finances. I think it's showing other people that you can, that well, there is a better tomorrow. It can't be finances because you know, I'm still working on the finances. <laughs> it can't be. <laughs> we all are. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, um, yeah, man, you're absolutely right, man. You know, um, different things just kind of, you know, different things just kind of really, you know, really, you know, made it clear to me that, you know, um, you know, the experience, like, you know, you can, you know, you can buy your kids shoes. I mean, you can, you know, you can get them nice things, but you know what I mean? To love them and show them that you there, you there for them. And you know what I mean? To help them with their homework, to show them how to tie the shoe, just, you know what I mean? Just any, it's all those small things that money, money, you know, money can't buy those experiences. Money can't buy, and that's what makes a great person. The money don't make the person. You know what I mean? The the the, the natural the natural experiences in in the positive experiences is what makes a person. You know what I mean? Or, you know, vice versa. You know, sometimes hardship makes a person. Hardship made me a better person. I could have been more. I could have been more rebellious on my situation. You know what I'm saying? That some at sometimes I was, but most of all, most most of all, I just kind of like, you know, I was pretty, I was pretty just, you know, happy just that 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 God gave me a just even the thought to want to do something else. You know what I'm saying? Because I look back at where I come from and I see it's exactly what I expected to be. It was exactly like I seen it was gonna be. You like, you know what I'm saying? So I mean. You know, just to be able to, like I said, get myself out of the situation and, you know, uh, be in a position to pull people, pull people back and, you know, share my story and things like that. And, you know, just to, just to, you know, and inspire people and, you know, give hope, man. You know, because you said, man, it's just hard, man. It's really hard out here, man. But, you know, you know, we all have that. We all have that winning spirit. You know what I'm saying? Some of it is weaker than others, but we can we can enhance that. You know what I'm saying? We can enhance that small little faith that you got. Like you can make that a big, you know what I mean? A big part of your existence. You know what I mean? You just have to focus on it and practice on it. You know what I mean? Because it's not easy, man. It's not easy. I want you to give people an example and including myself because this is more of a health and fitness, but talk about your workouts and what you do when you're training, how many hours a day you train. I got a good idea, but I really want you to explain. I want people to understand how much you do. <laughs> so okay. explain that on top of raising five kids. You mentioned you had kids. You didn't say you had five. Yeah. So talk about all of, like, all, of, all of that. Go for it. 
Okay. Um, I actually, my first thing I do, I get up in the morning. I get my, um, you know, I get my, 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 uh, my meal in, um, stretch out, um, you know, um, pray. And I think 10 o'clock is most of the, mo the, the most time. The first time I work out, sometimes I, I throw my strength training in uh, a little bit earlier. And um, I be in the gym from, from my training from like, 10 to 1 or 10 to 2 i get out straight out of there then i go I, i'm a, actually a, um, a trainer as well a fitness trainer as well so you know um fitness boxing trainer so i have kids uh, i train with them throughout the day and then i go back into my own training after i'm done with them um yeah man i'm just i'm, I'm always in the fitness like i'm i'm a gym rat either i'm in my gym or i'm at you know i'm at a, um i'm at my trainer's gym um yeah, I mean, all day. I'm just, I'm going all day, man. I'm going all day. Um, I do a lot of running. I do a lot of, a uh, lot of training in the gym, a lot of boxing training, a lot of, you know, because boxing is, you know, it's not just about, you know, it's not just about physical strength. It's about the mind as well, you know. So we do a lot of, um, you know, we do a lot of game planning and strategizing with that, you know. And um, like I said, man, we go hard, man. We go hard. Um, I, I guess I'm going to start posting more more videos. Right now, I've been on the grind, so heavy right now, I've been having a chance to post anything or record anything, but I'm going to start real soon just to give you um, some of the some of the stuff that I do. And, um, yeah, man, I, I, I'm a gym rat, man. I, if you ask about me around, around my area, you know, they know. <laughs> they know. I actually got to watch a couple of your reveals. They were pretty cool. <laughs> uh, right. And, um, and, um, I mean, specifically, like I said, I, I mean, I run, I run like, I try to run like four miles a day. And then on, on days where I run long, I, I, I run up to eight or seven, no more than that. Um, a lot of sprints. I do a lot of sprints, a lot of back and forth sprints, a lot of hot, um, high heart rate, um, things. Um, yeah, man. Eat, sleep, and use the bathroom on boxing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where you're fitting in sleep in any of this. <laughs> but <laughs> you know what? You know what? I actually, man. You know, actually, I, I don't, I don't, I, I sleep. I do sleep. I have to sleep. You know what I mean? Because I have to get my body right. But um, a lot of times, man. Sometimes I go to sleep. I go to sleep. I wake up. I go to sleep a good three, four hours, and I wake up feeling like, "Ooh, let's go." You know what I mean? Let's go. You know, if it, if it happened in the middle of the night, you know, I can't just just run up the house and go nowhere. And plus, I have to be in the gym in the morning, so I try to go right back to sleep, man. But I'm always, I'm always, um, I'm always up, man. Even when I'm in my sleep, I'm like active in my sleep. My 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 my, my, my girl tell me I move around a lot. You know what I mean? I um, I get up and use the bathroom a lot. I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, I'm all your brain's all... just running about. You're you're boxing in your head right now, just trying to figure out like foot patterns and get it all down. It's mm. I, I love it. So just kind of getting to start wrapping things up a little bit right now. So talk a little bit about your rec current record, uh, what you got coming up next, and where you see yourself in the future. Yeah, man, I'm, um, I'm I'm 18 and four. Um, I have uh, 10 knockouts. Um, I just fought in November. My first fight back, you know, this COVID thing messed a lot of mess messed a lot up, and um, and um, my goal right now, my goal right now is to stay active, man. You know, I, I, my my next fight will be um, April. I believe I'll be fighting in Mexico in April, um, April 20th. And um, and my goal is to um, just keep on keep, keep fighting. And um, uh, I, I have like a I have like a um, how do you say I have some people in my corner that's directing me to to the title and things like that. But, you know, that comes with staying active and winning. You know, what I mean, stay active and winning. So as long as I'm staying active and winning, you know, we have a broad future. We have a bright future, man. And like I said, man, I'm. I'm you know, I'm, I'm a gym rat, man. So I'm actually 33 years age, but I just went to the doctor this morning and my doctor told me that I have a 25 year old body. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> my, my, uh, my, my doctor actually told me that, uh, man, you are in some incredible shape. Um, you know, and then like you could tell he was doing my, he, I was inspiring him but by him just examining my body. He was just like, man, like what, man? Like, man, 
what do you do? Like, you know what I'm saying? What do you do? What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I mean, yeah, man, I just see myself winning that title, man. And once I get that title, like I said, man, I'm going I'm to probably, you know, continue boxing, continue boxing for a while. But my overall goal is to open up a um, open up a self and open up a self enhancement center, youth of St. Youth of St. Pete self enhancement center for my community and kids. You know what I mean? A lot of kids and, and, and teens around it. Just give them a just give them a, you know, a, a, a situation where where they can come and, you know, do something better with their life. You know what I mean? We're going to have everything, everything involved with you know, everything involved with, you know, um, self-enhancement, you know, to the, down to the motive, down to the, the meditation, down to the, you know, the, 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 um, the, um, you know, activities as far as after school programs and, um, 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 you know, boxing programs, martial arts, um, family awareness, neighborhood involvement, you know what I mean? All type of things, you know what I mean? Just to kind of help these kids get a better understanding of life because, you know, this, this, you know, this, this, this hood. Sometimes we grow up in a situation we don't, you know, we think that's life, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's not life. You know what I mean? Life is what you make it. You know, life's what you make it. So, you know, I, I can see myself being, I can see myself after after boxing, after I accomplish my goals in boxing, which is to get that title. You know, um, get the title, get get a couple titles, um, and you know, end up end up with the, um, with the self enhancement center. I might get into promotions a little bit, you know what I mean? A little bit of managing, you know, helping some, uh, helping some of the youth out if they want to, you know, um, when they, they want to do boxing, you know, but for the most part, um, self enhancement, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to, I'm definitely going to devote my life to, you know, helping people and, um, motivating people and just inspiring the youth and, you know what I mean? Open up doors and any, any Clarence, open, like right. I said in the beginning, this is why it makes you an amazing guy. <laughs> right. That's that means a lot. You're like you're willing to make your life goal to open up a center where you grew up to help show other kids that there's more to life and find an easier journey than you did, but still help as many people as possible. Absolutely. And that's amazing. Absolutely, man. Absolutely, man. God's will. You know what I mean? I'm gonna stay prayed up, stay focused. You know, doing what I have to do, and um, it's gonna happen. It's I, I believe you. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to see it, when I, you get open. Please I, let I, me know. I've been having so many different situations, man, that come out and, and be real with you. Like my my this boxing and this whole fitness thing, man, is really is really uh is really uh it's really demanding. You know what I mean? Sometimes I don't have like I'm I'm glad I made time to do this. You know what I mean? Um, so, I mean, eventually it's going to come to a point where I'm going to have to put, put my train to the side, you know what I mean? And, and focus on the people, you know? Yeah, I, I, I agree, man. And I think that's, this is your first step for that future you is doing things like this, getting it out there. This is something you want to do because you're going to help people by doing these podcasts. You're going to help people just by talking to people right. and actually when they get to hear that, it's someone that grew up in a very similar situation as them. It's really going to help them. And right. I really, I truly believe that. So I, I absolutely love it. And that's like, it's the reason I do this. People need to hear from people who were in the shitter. <laughs> and, and I mean that I know that's a very like common word, but we all have different types of challenges, regardless of who we are, where we're from. We all, end up in these situations where it just it defines us we think it destroys us but i really truly believe that's what makes us and right. overcoming that is the true inspiration because people will experience everything from all walks of life absolutely make or break you it'll make or break you it'll make, exactly you, you know what i mean and then when you got that when you got that strong spirit inside when you got that will to just you know when you got that will to you know you know, become successful or, and if it really mean that much to you, then your circumstances won't be the situation. You know, your, 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 it's hard to get past situation. I mean, uh, um, some, some circumstances, but like I said, if you tunnel vision, you focus on that, then 
the 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 circumstances around you, I believe, will most most likely fall to the side. Not saying they ain't gonna jump in your face sometimes, jump in front of you to distract you, but you know, you just gotta have a tunnel vision, and pretty soon, everything that you want in your life will actually be in front of you. Everything that you've been practicing, everything that you've been manifesting, will actually be right in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, you even realize it's there, and it's right in front of your face. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you gotta be able to grab. You gotta be able to recognize when it's there because it's easy to let it go too. At, at the end of the day, you know what I mean. It's you know it's, it's easy to let things distract you to come in and blind you from that spot. A lot of people come right here at the door. You know what I'm saying. A lot of people, a lot of people, victor is right here on the side of the door, right on the other side of the door. But they stop right here. You know what I mean. They stop right here. Okay, you know what? I did this for so long. I tried this, and I'm done with it now. And they turn back, but all I had to do was move the door. All I had to do was move the door. And, and, and the success is right there. Keep pushing, keep pushing through. You know what I'm saying? Stay committed, and the victory is won. You know what I mean? That's it's so true. I, I love it. And Clarence, last point: Where can uh, people find you? Uh, any like websites, anything like that? People can find you. Where can they find uh, more about you? I'm um, IG, um, Instagram, um, Facebook, Clarence Booth. Um, my my Instagram is um, Mr. Saint Pete Clarence Booth. Um, it's actually two on there uh my old one and then my old one and my my new one because i guess i lost my code or something like that i had my phone changed or something like that and i don't know why but i couldn't able, i wasn't able to get back into my old account so i had to make a new one a couple of years ago um and um that's mr st pete you'll be able to see which one is active you know what i mean you'll better see which one active and yeah man you know that's that, that's it man that's that's how you can find me facebook and ig right on do the twitter thing right now but eventually <laughs> Eventually we'll, get Eventually we'll get there. Right now I'm just, you know, you know. I got you. And thank you for joining us on this week's episode of Health and Fitness Redefined. Don't forget, subscribe to our show and join us next week as we dive deeper into this ever-changing field. And remember, fitness is a journey, not a destination. Until next time, guys.